Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I am going to talk to you about videos on YouTube that are giving you writing advice. I'm trying to get to the heart at what actual writing advice really fucking is, okay? It is now one o'clock on Friday afternoon. Okay. And I have been, since 10 o'clock, trying to find a video I watched earlier this week that used the poem that I'm going to be talking about here to prove a point. It was wrong, and I went through all my history on YouTube. Couldn't fucking find it. I went through every fucking thing every writing video that i thought it could be i started like looking up like phrases that i remember hearing in the video trying to find it it just doesn't exist so now i'm concerned that i was just because i was sick all week that i was having like a fever dream and i wasn't even watching youtube i was probably just sitting here looking at a box of cheese it's thinking it was giving me writing advice right i'm a disgusting creature dude but through all this i started getting like this weird feeling like dude i've been doing a ton of these writing advice videos is the advice i'm giving like hard to understand like just not good because i watch a lot of these writing tip videos and writing advice videos and they seem to go on for like 10 fucking minutes and at the end of the day they haven't fucking said anything other than don't give up and sit down and write it's really bizarre how many different titles and thumbnails people can put together to say the exact same fucking thing Okay, but this one in particular, th this video that um, might not exist at all, um, really had me like perturbed. And so what I'm going to do is show you and read to you the poem that this guy used as his thesis for his video. Allegedly, because again, this could have been a fever dream. But in doing so, I found that most of the videos on YouTube that have this poem in it are using the... Because it's a Bukowski poem, obviously. But they're, they're using the John Martin edit from 2002 as opposed to Bukowski's manuscript from 1992. So that's kind of fun. So I thought I would show you both of those. Okay, so as we look at this, um, the words that are circled in red, and again, this is from Bukowski.net, who I wouldn't have any of this shit if it wasn't for them. So the words in circled in red are the words that were deleted from the 92 manuscript into John Martin's edit. The ones that are circled in, like, gray are the words that John Martin added. And the ones that are circled in a lighter red, I don't even know if you'll be able to notice that. Those are words that he just moved around. So, originally, this poem, and I think in The Essential Bukowski, this is what it's called. Do you want to enter the arena? And in Sifting Through Madness for the Word, The Line, The Way, um, he changed the title to So You Want to Be a Writer. And if you look on YouTube, most of the poem, most of the readings of this poem by people and stuff like that are So You Want to Be a Writer. Okay, So I'm going to read Bukowski's version. If it doesn't come rushing out of you, don't do it. Unless it comes bursting out your ears, your head, your ass, and your belly button, don't do it. If you have to sit for an hour staring at your computer screen or hunched over your typewriter, don't do it. If you're doing it for money or fame, don't do it. If you're doing it because you want women in your bed, don't do it. If you have to sit there and rework it, rewrite it don't do it 
If it's hard work doing it, don't do it. If you're trying to write like somebody else, don't do it. If you have to wait for it to roar out of you, then wait. If it never roars out of you, do something else. If you have to read it to your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your parents or anybody at all, you're not ready. Don't be like so many writers. Don't be so like so many thousands of writers who call themselves writers. Don't be so dull and boring and pretentious. Don't lock in with self-love. Don't work the pages to death with your crap. The libraries of the world have yawned themselves to sleep. Don't add to that. Don't do it. Unless it, com unless it comes bursting through your skull like a rocket. Unless being still about it would drive you to madness or suicide or murder. Don't do it. Unless the sun inside of you is burning your guts out. Don't do it. When it is known to you truly, it will do it by itself, and it will keep doing it until you die or it dies in you. There is no other way. There never was. This video that may or may not have ever existed, the guy says, like, this is a very romantic poem about writing, but it's bullshit. And then he brings up George R.R. R. Martin as like the reason why this is bullshit. I don't know. If you guys know what video I'm talking about, like send me the link to it because I just cannot find it. But like the thing with George R.R. R. Martin is, is that in a lot of these writers, once they get to a point where they are fucking gajillionaires off of their writing, a lot of the like that need that fire to write like it it might not ever fucking be there again you know like once you've proven to the world that you can do that you might not ever fucking do it again now do i think george r r martin is a writer yes do i think he is an artist no do I think he is a craftsman? Yes. And it's the whole thing where, like, if we take this poem for the gospel, okay? Like, unless it's, wait, unless being still about it would drive you to madness or suicide or murder, don't do it. Okay? Obviously, that's not the case with him. But I remember in that video, I think it was in the same video, it was George R.R. R. Martin talking to Stephen King, and he's like, George R.R. R. Martin's asking Stephen King a question. He's like, how the fuck do you do it? He's like, I write maybe like six pages in the time it takes you to write a fucking novel. So, like, what the fuck? And then Stephen King's like, well, I write six pages every day at least. Because I have to. Like, it, it's like not even a question. Okay. And that's the difference. And of course, like, I think Stephen King's a paper salesman, but he is an artist. But he just goes and goes and goes, okay? Now, some of you might be going, but Matt, you know, like, not everybody writes all the time. No shit. Bukowski didn't even write all the time. He, he would like to, and it would drive him crazy if he didn't. But there were times when he would go, like, a week or something without writing, and it would drive him fucking crazy. Been there, buddy. But there's another part in here. If you have to wait for it to roar out of you, then wait. And if it never roars out of you, do something else. There's nothing that he's saying here that isn't true. Like, when it comes to the writers that we probably all compare ourselves to. You know what I'm saying? Like... If George R. R. Martin is waiting for it to roar out of him, and it's not, then fucking wait. And then, if it never fucking roars out of you, let somebody else finish the series. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know why people get offended by this fucking poem. I know a lot of writers who read this and felt, like, attacked. 
if you felt attacked when I was reading this, leave it in the fucking comments. Okay? Because there is nothing in here that is like saying what you're doing is wrong. It's telling you <laughs> to, if you really want to fucking do this and you want this to be your fucking thing, like, you better be ready to fucking, like, pull your fucking skin off and fucking die. Like, this, like, if this is what you want, don't do it unless it's fucking, like, raging out of you like a fucking maniac. Because if you don't do that and you're not like that, all you're going to do is, like, be upset with yourself and get down on yourself all the time. Because you're setting these fucking big fucking goals for yourself but your fucking drive isn't where your goals are so how the fuck are you ever going to hit those goals if your drive is way fucking down here you know what I'm saying so like I don't know I don't see anything fucking wrong with this fucking poem and I don't see anything where like to be honest, like, I'll fucking read every Bukowski book two or three times before I ever pick up a George R.R. R. Martin book. It's it's a bunch of shit. It's like 80 fucking pages talking about what someone had for dinner and then someone's going to die and then there's a dragon. Woo! Jesus Christ, that's amazing. You know, like, fucking hell. So after I watched that, I had this real fucking, like trip out on like wow the advice on this video was really bad like what else is out there so i started watching all these advice videos and most of the advice wasn't really advice it was i don't know like so my question to you is is there stuff that i talk about on here that i'm not explaining properly or that like do you ever like come across one of my videos and you see a title and the title promises something and then you watch the video and you don't get that? Like, let me know if there's anything that I could do better on that front because like when I'm doing these videos, I think I'm like dropping fucking pearls of wisdom here, but probably the people who made those videos that I think are shit probably thought the same fucking thing. Okay. So... If that's the case, then we might all be suffering from delusions of grandeur and shit like that. And so we need to fucking figure our shit out. Again, the only thing you need to do to write, this is the only advice you'll ever need. Sit down and start writing. That's it. That's the only advice you fucking need to write something. So there was all that other shit before that, but that's really the, the fucking golden rule. Okay. What ups, everybody? Abnormal brain. There's only one left. If you want it, you got to get it. It's at the Etsy shop. Links will be down below. Um, yeah. So do the other thing. Type hard. That's what you need to do. It needs to be, it needs to come bursting out your ass. Okay. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.